Well, hello there, guys. Scythe here. I'm uh, going to show a little Crisis 3 Deathmatch, which is basically free-for-all gameplay here. It's not the best game. Uh, I do pretty well on it, but I want to have something in the background. I just want to get a video up today because I want to talk about the PlayStation 4 sneak preview that was uh, released today on uh, some you know some streamcast were done on it. I got to watch the actual uh, cast myself, and I uh, got a sneak peek at what's coming up with the PlayStation 4. So for some of you that didn't get to see it, I'm going to fill you in a little bit. For some of you that already have, uh, feel free to leave in the comments your thoughts and if you're excited about it, if you're going to be getting the PlayStation 4. But it was a definitely a really exciting, uh, r I was actually really excited, a uh, um, little sneak peek at some of the stuff they're going to have. Uh, they actually, uh, they did show the uh, controller, which I know some of you guys have seen some of the leak photos like this one here where it shows the uh, prototype or possible fake picture of the PlayStation 4 controller, where it turns out that is the actual PlayStation 4 controller. Um, it looks a little bit more bulky than the PlayStation 3 controller, which is one of the things I liked about the PlayStation 3, was that it was it was just a little bit smaller, fit in your hand a little bit better, I'm not sure. I mean, I love the Xbox, but the PlayStation 3 controller really fits really well. It looks like they kind of kept the same design, but they kind of added a little bit of size to it, a little bit of meat to it. Uh, one of the things that they showed on the uh, stream about the PlayStation 4 was the share button, which will automatically just take like a screenshot and automatically just send that to whoever you want to. and go into live streaming which I'll get into a little bit here later but it was like I said it was a little bit bulky but um I think I mean it looks like they kept the same like the hand grips everything looked pretty much the same uh it definitely has a great you know the same classic PS uh PlayStation look to it so I was pretty excited to see that they didn't really go too far out there with you know trying to revolutionize the hand controller because I think they have a good concept as it was and they've had a good concept for a very long time so, um, they actually didn't show the actual system, which was a little bit of a disappointment. I was really excited to get to see what the system looked like, you know, and the dimensions and the color that was going to be on it. And, you know, maybe the price or, you know, what, you know, the real specs of what's going to be inside the hardware. But they didn't really give that out. The, the only thing they told us is that it's going to be released uh, in the holiday season uh, this year. So, I would expect to be able to pick one up, I would say you know, mid-November to the end of November going into, like, Christmas holidays. So, they didn't talk about price either, which, I mean, if, from what I was told and what I was talking to my sponsors at Machinima about, we're all thinking that it's going to be around the $500 price tag, which is what the PS3 was when it first came out, in which, you know, the PS3 now is only, I think, about, you know, $299, so a $500 price tag is going to be pretty premium. Uh, I know that originally the PS3, uh, they actually were losing money on them when they were selling them for the price that they did because the parts were so expensive. So hopefully, I know they use different people for the manufacturing of the PlayStation 4, so hopefully they're not going to lose a whole lot of money and maybe they'll, you know, give us a little bit of the savings that they're going to make on the money, maybe make it a little cheaper for the holidays, but you never know. Uh... Some of the new features that they were talking about was the online experience, uh, the social networking, how they're going to try and integrate everything into uh, a more streamlined effect and how everything's going to work so much more seemingly well. Uh, I know that they were talking about the uh, PS Vita, having that work together as a remote, being able to play almost any PlayStation 4 game on the PS Vita. They said they hope to. That's their goal, so I don't expect it to be right away or in the very near future with it, only because I'm not sure if the PS Vita can handle the uh, graphics, which, uh, which, by the way, from some of the demos they showed were just extraordinary. Um, I'm not sure if the PS Vita can actually you know, handle some of that uh, graphic, and it might look a little choppy. In fact, some of the demos they did show us with the PS Vita um, using a PlayStation 4 game, it did look a little choppy. I mean, it was trying to handle it the best it could, but uh, they did talk about uh, downloading games and downloading content, uh, which I'm really excited about because now you don't have to wait for the whole game to be downloaded in like an hour. Apparently the system is going to be have is going to have a lot faster of a processor, it's going to have a lot faster of downloading speeds. And the best part about it is you don't have to wait for the games or the content to finish downloading before you get to use the content. 
And basically they showed where you can actually start downloading a game and start playing the game while the rest of it's downloading. So you can pretty much just instantly get into a game, which is, I guess is their uh, actual uh, mission right now is to get people into games as quickly as possible. It's actually, uh, the network is actually going to be more personalized. It's going to look at the games that you play and it's going to let you uh, pick games that are based off what you're already playing. So it's, only, it's not going to, you know, ask you to play or let you see demos for Little Big Planet if you've been playing Call of Duty for the last, you know, three months. But it's definitely going to, like, gear towards whatever you're used to and whatever kind of game types you like. Um, back when I said about the Ustream, they're going to be working with Ustream where you're going to be able to actually stream uh, live gameplay like uh, some of us YouTubers do, uh, people that are partnering with Machinima or RPM or whatever. Um, they're actually going to let you live stream and people are going to be able to actually watch your gameplay and send you comments and things like that and interact with you. So I thought that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work with the Elgatos and the uh, HD PVRs, if that's going to totally just... Uh, basically obsolete them um, if there's a way to stream I'm wondering if there's a way to record because if there's a way to record the gameplay and store it too there may be no need for the Elgato game captures or the uh, Hapog HD PVRs um, I hope not because I I have one so it would be really great if I didn't waste the money on them but it's definitely uh, a good thing to have everything in one console and that's all they kept talking about is how to make the experience more better for the user uh, some of the games that they uh, talked about, they're actually going to have uh, some great titles coming out. They gave us a couple sneak previews of what they got going on. Uh, the first one is actually a PC game that, for the first time that they're going to put on a console. Blizzard's actually going to release Diablo 3, uh, which you see here they showed the uh, actual picture with the uh, CEO of Blizzard uh, saying that they were going to... Actually, I don't think it's the CEO of Blizzard, but uh, he was wearing a, a different jacket. But um, they're actually going to play, uh, put Diablo 3 on the PS3 and PS4 going into the holiday season. So that's going to be kind of interesting and kind of fun to play and see how that works on the PS3. Uh, another one that they are going to actually do is uh, Watch Dogs, which uh, right here is a pic of the graphic on it. I mean, the graphics looked phenomenal on it. I mean, it looks really great, and it looks, I mean, the game looks very intense and very detailed and I know uh, Ubisoft has a full video trailer on YouTube for it so I would just uh, Google watch dogs or go into YouTube and type watch dogs in and uh, check out the video for that and the other one which was a complete shock to me is they made an agreement with Bungie and that new game Destiny which was a, a Halo extension this game Destiny is actually going to be on the uh, PlayStation so it looks like uh, Bungie which is owned by Activision is going to be playing uh, their titles on the PlayStation now, which I thought was cool. Well, originally when I saw the Activision uh, guy come out, I thought they were going to show the Call of Duty, which I was about to get you know totally you know pumped for, but they didn't. But anyway, it was a, definitely a great thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, I didn't do too bad. It was 22 and 12. I missed it by one kill. I did. I, I died not near as many times as the uh, winner did, but. I think I did pretty good. So if you guys haven't already, click that subscribe button. It really does help me. Follow me on Facebook. You know, check me out on Twitter. Say hi. I try to comment back as many people as I can. Uh, the links to my Facebook page and my Twitter are on my channel page. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And have a great day. See you later, guys. Peace out.